This video will be describing how to enter a schematic into a project using the Xilinx ISE design suite, compiling the schematic into a bit file and making this ready for download on the uh, on whatever proto board you're using. In this case we're using the Spartan S3E starter board. So after installing the Xilinx uh, system you may have a button on your desktop. Uh, if you don't have it, it will be in the start. Uh, and Xilinx is way down in the alphabet, so down here we've got something like Xilinx. The ISE design tools is the project navigator, the project managing uh, hardware. I will choose the 64 bits uh, as I have a 64 bit operating system. And here it goes. If I've previously had a project open, my system will open with this uh, project. It will show me tip of the day, which I may read or may not. I will give it an OK, and now I need to start creating a project. So when you start up for the first time, you're, uh, you're likely to see a small, uh, slightly different uh, view, but the process will be the same. You'll have to create a new project, so this is like file, new project, and first problem is like giving this project a nice name. Um, next problem is putting this in a nice location. So uh, first things first, I have here a picture of what I'll try to put into this. Uh, so I guess the name of the project will be question 13. Um, yeah, so the name will be question 13. The location is wherever you want to have your uh, elements saved. I have previously had problems with spaces inside the project names or inside the file names. Um, so just a warning for you. So here it is question 13. That will be the name of my project. Um, so I can put in a description. I don't think I want to do that. Here goes a uh, top level source for this thing. I want to work only in schematic this time. The HDL or VHDL is a hardware descripting language using text input. We will save that to another nice day. So next. And it asks for properties, project settings as for instance what kind of device or device family will I be programming towards. I luckily enough have myself a, an evaluation board which is called Spartan 3E Starter Board. Here it is. This will set up the family and device and everything. And it will be a next. Project summary and finish. Here is the empty view of my project now. So the project is kind of like a placeholder for a number of schematics which may be interconnected in a top level schematic. Uh, this time there will only be like one schematic, but the schematic will still be part of my project. So I'll need to insert a new module. Um, I have different ways of doing this. Uh, here I have something called new source. I guess I can also like right click here and add a new, add, uh, give it a new source and it may be available in the menu, menu lines as, as well. I think I will give this a kick and here it comes the new source wizard. I will put in a schematic so I will choose from this fine uh, menu a schematic and this file will be 
holding the AND and OR gates for this question 3. So this will be the schematic for Q13. Next. And finish. Then up comes the drawing board where I can start putting in my schematic elements. Um, so first things is I want to have a short look at my problem and here it is. I have like A, B going into an AND gate, C going into an OR gate combined with the output of the AND gate and then I can't remember anymore. So I have to find myself some symbols or some components. Again I've got more ways to do this. Down here I have some uh, fanes uh, where I can choose symbol. So here are my symbols. These are organized in categories. So if I choose, uh, say, a counter, I will have counter symbols down here. If I choose some logic, it will be here. I will have logic gates meaning AND, OR, NOT, X, OR, etc, etc. Down here. So I will have myself a two input AND gate and these, this is called AND2. So when I click this and move over to my drawing board I will be able to place this AND gate right here. It, I'll still have the AND gate at the tip of my pointer. Pressing escape will let it go again. And also will let the simple elements go from here. So I'll need to press this symbol again. Um, I think it was like an OR gate, so I will have an OR gate. Women O OR gate with two inputs, like this. And I will put it over here somewhere. Uh, still, press the escape to let go of this thing. Uh, another look at my schematic shows I need an AND gate more and an inverter. So let's see if we can find the AND gate. And here it is. That was the inverter. Here's the AND gate. I think something like this. And then I need an inverter. Like this. Don't remember where to put it. Something like this. Um, I have lots of symbols. I also have like some for all uh, symbols. I have say I have an AND five, which is a five input AND gate, and I have AND five B one, which is five input one with one of the inputs inverted. Five. B3 is 5 input with 3 inverted inputs. Okay, so now the wiring of, of this thing. Uh, to wire this, I need to use wire and wire I have here. First, I think I would like to uh, zoom in on this little thing. I have still, I have to remember to press escape to get rid of whatever I have on my tip which is kind of funny not really working so escape doesn't work right now well I'll get around it anyway because I will just press the select button and I'm in select mode so I can select all of these like this and I can do different kinds of zooms plus will just zoom in but I have this one called Zoom to select it, which will show me what is in the selected window. Wiring goes by the wire, so I'll have to choose what input is connected to what output or opposite. So something like this and this. And I have to look at my design. Was this right? This was right and the inverter goes on the other input. You may also do something like uh, mark the inverter and pull it right over 
and it will connect if I place it right and I can pull it back somewhere if I want to. So now I've got like these one, two, three, four inputs and one output. Um, next thing is to give labels and names to the inputs. Uh, in this case, in Silex Matter, it's called add in out markers. So I'll have to add in out markers. Pressing this, I get this in out marker which I can place and place and place and place. This is set up as an as adding an automatic marker so it will automatically find if it is an input or an output. Zooming out will show me I have four inputs and one output marker. Um, yeah. So normally I would take these and put them in line over here maybe. Oh. Double clicking brings up properties or something. Uh, next thing would be I would like to name these, meaning renaming them to a proper name. So I we'll would do something like rename port, and this would be my A input. Okay, this would be my B input. I guess. This is the C. This is not what I want. So right click and rename C and D. The output I will name this to and if okay so the thing is ready uh, I can save this I have this one for saving and one for saving all but I think I'm, I have only got what like one file in work at the moment